Welcome back, y'all. Today, we're going to be learning how to use ChatGPT's ability to see and analyze images in the context of Zapier. As you see from this video here, you're able to actually look at images, analyze images, and provide value outputs based off this new OpenAI API. We're going to learn how to do that today. So just so you can understand, we're going to be using this documentation in order to create this API call. I'll add this in the description down below. It's going to be pretty simple preview here of how to basically leverage this new model. Went over to Zapier, we're going to hit create new Zap. We're going to do an event of when I drag an image to a uh, Google Drive folder just to show you how to do this. Your use case might be entirely different. All you need to know is that you're going to learn how to basically send this request and get a you know response back. So therefore, you can really start leveraging it in any context you may have in your business. For me, though, I'm going to do new file and folder. I'm going to continue here. I'm going to choose our courses account here at WebCAF AI. I'm going to continue here again. And we're going to go ahead and choose the specific folder. So for me, it's a YouTube Zaps folder. So I got the folder called Vision Test here. I'm going to continue here. And then I'm going to go ahead and come over to our Google Drive. I'm going to drag in a photo real quick. So the photo we're using today is uh, three Australian Shepherds. We're going to see if GBT can understand that these are puppies. I will say this is pretty re low resolution. But still, let's see if they can understand that we got three little dogs here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this into Vision Test here so we can start leveraging it. Perfect. So we got our image here. Let's go back over to Zapier. We'll call it Vision GBT4. And we're going to do test trigger here. We should see our relevant file here. I'm going to be completely transparent, y'all. I haven't even tested this myself. If this works, I'm just going to go based off documentation and my expertise and see what we can come up with here. So we got our file here. Let's go ahead and add our action, which is going to be that open AI call. So we're going to open AI. And just so you have more reference here, the only time you'd use uh, anything alternative to OpenAI in this block is when you want to use a GBT4 model in the context of chat GBT and like more of the conversational aspect. For the custom request though, you want to use the OpenAI block. So we're going to do API request beta. We're going to hit continue here. And because we're requesting uh, the backend of OpenAI to do something for us, we're going to go ahead and do an event of post because we're pushing data towards them. And then on top of that, we're going to go ahead and make sure we do the right URL here. So for us to understand when it comes to GBT4 and specifically in the context of conversation model, we're going to be doing the completions URL here. And then we're going to add a couple more parameters here. So we're going to add the JSON payload here, which is going to be the body that has our relevant information here. And I believe we need to add an additional request header. For the sake of dotting my I's and crossing my T's, I'm going to add this just in case where the type of information we're receiving and the structuring of our information is in JSON. So we're going to do content type here, application slash JSON. And then from here, let's go ahead and add our body here. So I went ahead and marked one up already. This should work in theory, although I may need to work on the syntax on this body here. I'm going to bring this in here real quick and let's see if everything looks good to here. All right, so I'm going to try this, y'all. If it doesn't work, then I'll need to restructure the syntax. But first off, let's just go ahead and walk through it a little. So we're going to be using the GBT4 vision preview. That's going to be our model. As you see here, the prompt we're going to use when we ask, like, what's going on with the image, we're going to say what's in this image. And then finally, we're going to provide the underlying URL we're using today. So I'm going to try the file exists but not shown. But to be honest with you, it really depends on the context when it comes to Google Drive, which one I'm supposed to use. But I'm going to try this one first. Let's see if we get any errors and kind of troubleshoot together. All right, so I am debugging still, but as you'll see here, the error that I'm getting right now is that the type of files that it can read right now are PNG, JPEG, GIF, and WebP. And the current image I'm using is a JPEG, but GPG. So I'm gonna convert this into a PNG, but I wanted to point this out as, so you know, basically the types of files that it can actually read in this context. So now I have it set up so it is a PNG. Let's jump back over to GPT-4 here. Let's go ahead and retest this trigger and find the new record where it's a PNG file. This is important for you to understand so you don't find yourself running into issues here uh, because of the fact that you're just using a wrong file type. So I'm gonna type in PNG here, make sure I got the right one, perfect. As you see here, we got MIME type. I'm gonna continue with selected record here. I'm gonna keep debugging here. One other thing I realized during the debug phase is that we can't actually identify the amount of tokens that are, are the max tokens. This isn't too pertinent, so I went ahead and removed that as well. And then I'll go ahead and explain this once we get to that point. But first, let me just see if it works. So after further debugging and looking through it a little bit more, I went ahead and uploaded a, another image here, but it seems like it probably would have worked with the older image as well. This is just a dog JPEG. And as you see here, the way we need to format our URLs is going to be basically finding the direct image source. But there's another thing I got to point out here. If we go over to my folder here, you have to ensure that basically anyone with the link is an editor and gets access to it. This is very important. This is going to allow the API to even see the image to begin with. Coming back over to GBT or Zapier, 
we're gonna go ahead and format our Google Drive link like this. We're gonna do HTTPS drivegoogle.com equals ID. In order to find the ID, we're gonna simply go to the uh, you know Google Drive new file here and type in ID. And it's going to be this one right here. Put that right here so that therefore any new image you add here, it will automatically give us an interpretation of it. I'm gonna hit continue here and I will retest this step again so you can kind of see the output. And therefore the output in this context is gonna be a golden retriever. So if I come down here, as you see, we are gonna come all the way down here and the content is gonna be a response here. The image shows a happy looking golden retriever with its mouth, op mouth open. And if we come back over to our file here, I think that's pretty spot on. But just to show you how this works as an automation, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new file here and we can go ahead and see, you know, basically gut checking and make sure it works. Then I'm gonna get another image here as it is a part of the files I can accept. This is a WebP. As you see here, I also made it so the name is like really random so we can really gut check it and make sure it doesn't like read the name for interpretation as well. So coming back over here, I'm gonna go ahead and test this trigger again. Say find new record. I know this is w, uh, WP here. So here we go. Continue selected record. Come over to here and I'm gonna go ahead and say continue. Retest this step and let's see if it comes up. Okay, here we go. You're looking at an image of a cat with a displeased or grumpy. So this does work. Okay, so we've officially learned how to access OpenAI's API when it comes to vision. Really cool stuff. Now you know how to leverage it when it comes to automations and however context you may want to do in that realm. If you felt like you learned something up to this point, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. If you like this kind of content, you can check out a playlist at the end here as we're diving into Zappy and all 5,000 5, apps and seeing how we can automate every single one. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise. I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.